Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about Pakistan is officially interested in purchasing the only Chinese fifth generation stealth fighter that's allowed to be exported, the FC-31. Pakistan now currently in talks with the Chinese and Shenyang Corporation to acquire the aircraft. This was announced by the Pakistani Air Force chief himself, Marshal Zahir Ahmed Babar Sidhu. He pledges that the aircraft would enter service into Pakistani Air Force in the future. The announcement was made on January 2nd during the induction of the new J-10C fighters in the Pakistani Air Force. Pakistan purchased 25 J-10C export variant with additional option for 11 fighters. Although the full details of the possible purchase is not disclosed yet, we don't know how much would China sell them the aircraft, how many Pakistan would purchase, and what is the timeline of delivery. We don't know yet a lot of details whether if the aircraft would be built in China or the aircraft will be built in Pakistan. If the latter was chosen, then it would be a huge improvement for Pakistan aeronautical manufacturing capabilities. Even if the arrangement is similar to the JF-17 production, China would be sending manufactured kits and then the aircraft would be assembled in Pakistan. It's still a good learning experience for Pakistan to assemble a fifth-generation fighter. We also don't know yet whether the type engine and sensors would be fitted on the aircraft, whether it'll be using the fourth-generation Russian engine just like the early JF-17, or would it use the Chinese WS-13 engine that would allow the aircraft to supercruise without using afterburner, a basic requirement for any fifth-generation fighter. If the purchase is completed, this will drastically improve the Pakistani Air Force capabilities even if the FC-31 would not be as stealthy as the F-35, but its reduced radar cross-signature along with its highly capable avionics and sensor similar to the J-20 and J-10C, it would still be a formidable aircraft for the Pakistani Air Force. The same capabilities promised by less stealthy but with significantly reduced radar signature like the Turkey's Khan and South Korea's KF-21 stealth fighter programs. If this pushes through, Pakistan is expected to pull out on the Turkey Pakistan Azerbaijan co-development of the Khan stealth fighter. Pakistani would be then part of a small group of countries who operates a stealth fighter. This move is a change in policy for Pakistan, which over the years has opted for single-engine multi-role fighters in their inventory to reduce operational cost, like their existing fleet of French Mirage 3, the American F-16, and the Chinese J-10C and JF-17. Although despite having two engines, the FC-31 is still considered a medium-weight fighter with lower operation cost compared to the other 5th-gen fighters. The aircraft has many known names, by the way the FC-31, the J-31, and J-35. To clear the confusion, the FC-31 name is the aircraft's export designation, so we'll stick to that one. While the J-31 name would only be given if the aircraft is accepted in the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force, and the J-35 designation if the aircraft would be used by the People's Liberation Army Navy. It's similar practice used by other countries. For example, the F-22 name was only given to the aircraft when it was accepted by the U.S. Air Force. The aircraft's development name is YF-22. While the Su-57 name is only given once the aircraft is accepted by the Russian Aerospace Force, the Su-57's development name is PAC-FAT-50 or Advanced Frontline Aviation Complex T-50. The Chinese Air Force didn't want the FC-31 as they prefer the J-20, while the J-20 is not allowed to be exported to protect its technology from being stolen or exposed. While the Chinese Navy showed interest for the aircraft for their third aircraft carrier, the Fujian, some military experts predict this move will make India look into the F-35 again to counter the Pakistani threat. The F-35 was pitched by the Americans to India, but India has declined. India currently doesn't have any stealth fighter in their inventory. Some are also saying this might prompt Russia to pitch the sale of Su-57 stealth fighter to India again. India was initially part of the development of the Su-57 to help Russia burden the expense of the program. But later, India pulled out due to some disagreement, especially on technology transfer and after Russians' refusal on transparency of the development. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to your channel. See you soon.